after we went to the rabbit cafe. We wanted to go to a capybara cafe, but it was closed. We stopped at a seafood rice bowl restaurant for lunch. I just ate sushi last night, but I can always eat seafood. This guy had a sign for a river otter cafe, so we followed him. I got a green tea and took a seat by the hedgehogs. We wore gloves to protect our hands. I've never interacted with hedgehogs, so it was interesting. I was a little scared to pick up the hedgehog barehanded. But I did, and this little guy licked my hands. Such gentle little creatures. I didn't know they were carnivores. They have a lot of river otters. I guess river otters are very popular. They're pretty cute. Their hands are kind of squishy and soft. I guess people have otters as house pets too. River otters are semi-aquatic. It looks like they're having fun. Meerkats are smaller than cinnamon bun and mori. They only weigh a little more than 2 pounds. We have wild prairie dogs where we live in New Mexico, and I love them. I wish he had a larger enclosure. He's doing a great job taking care of cinnamon bun. It didn't record the sounds, but she definitely recognizes my voice. The other day, she was in the bunny room, and I called her name over the speakerphone, and she came running. She seemed confused, but at least she knows that I'm alive. Now we're heading to the famous temple, Sensoji. I bought some rice crackers for my sister. It was very crowded. There were so many tourists from other countries. We stopped at a popular Menchi Katsu shop. Sensoji is the oldest temple in Tokyo. It was freezing cold, so we went to an izakaya. We ate mentaiko and shirako. You might not want to know what shirako is, but it's a delicacy. Trains in Tokyo are packed. Then we went to another izakaya and ate a lot of food. 
I started my day with a discounted milk pudding. My sister and her boyfriend DK made me a traditional Japanese breakfast for lunch. I'm preparing natto. It's sticky and smells funky, but it's good for health and tasty. It's rainy and cold again. I'm going to get some Japanese sweets. They're made with cherry blossom leaves. Not too sweet and perfect with a cup of green tea. DK owns this brewery. My sister's beers are sold here, a shared brewery located in Hachioji, Tokyo. I guess she wants to make a beer inspired by cinnamon bun and mori. I have no idea what that would be like. I have to admit that I hate beer, but I had to try her beers since I was there. My sister cooks all the food. Don't forget to mention our channel if you ever stop by. They usually participate in beer festivals in Tokyo. Now I'm heading back to Shizuoka with my dad. It's about 2 hour drive from Tokyo. We drove through snowy areas. My little sister is making gyoza dumplings for dinner. The filling is made with ground meat and vegetables. I love plum wines. My mom is cooking the gyoza my sister made. It was delicious. After dinner, I gave them all the stuff I brought from the US. My sister loves the peanut butter cups from Trader Joe's. This is the room I'll be staying. My parents renovated the entire house, and this is the only traditional Japanese room left in the house. I started my day with a cup of miso soup. I was going to eat this pudding, but my mom accidentally froze it. Otani, who plays in the US baseball team, is very popular in Japan. He is on the news every day. Japanese barbecue is very different from barbecue in the US. We cook sliced meat and vegetables over charcoal. My dad lets me drink the expensive sake he drinks now I'm older. My pudding was defrosted the next day, so I ate it with a soup. My mom's health drink made with tomato juice, black vinegar, and olive oil. Her breakfast looks healthy. Then we went to a dollar store. Then we went to get groceries. We decided to get some ekiben for lunch. Mm. 
Ekiben is bento box meals, usually sold at train stations. They are very popular, and you can sometimes buy them at stores. Sushi was tempting too. I got a bunch of snacks to bring back home. This is the ekiben we bought. It's one of my favorites. Interesting container. It looks like it's made of bamboo. These leaves are probably bamboo leaves. It's a sushi made with trout. Tokoloten is jelly noodles made of seaweed. This sushi is kind of like a cake. You cut it with a knife that's included in the package. Manju for dessert. I love red bean paste. Then I went to a mall with my sister because we are going to Kyoto in a few days and we needed to get some stuff. It's going to be cold so we got some tights and some heat tech shirts at Uniqlo. My dad made a kimchi nabe. It's one of my favorite food. It's made with tripe and vegetables. What I miss about Japan the most, living in the United States, is food. Aside from my family, I'm eating this ice cream for dessert. It's called Shirakuma, which means polar bear. It has kind of a shaved ice cream texture. The next day, my mom's friend gave us homemade mochi. I picked a huge daikon radish. It's heavier than cinnamon banana mori. I cooked yakisoba noodles for lunch. It's sunny and you can see Mount Fuji today. I went to get a haircut. I shouldn't have. They cut off too much. I basically asked for same haircut I usually get in the US. My sister did warn me about this. I'm so sad. My mom buys coffee beans at Kaldi. They have a lot of things from foreign countries, aside from coffee. Then we went to a pet store to see if they have any bunny products. They sell small dogs. Dogs are way more expensive than 10 years ago. Let's look for bunny stuff. It's mostly products for dogs and cats. We found their small animal section. I got some stuff for cinnamon banana mori. I hope they'll like them. I like that Japanese restaurants usually have pictures on the menus and often real looking displays. I got some snacks and green tea too. I've climbed Mount Fuji twice. That's the giant daikon radish I picked earlier.
I'm going to the Capybara Hot Springs in our next video. Thanks for watching.